We're here in Merle's Inlet at the Marsh Walk. We're going to show you a couple of the places that there are to eat here. It's a really nice walk. It's a hot day today, so we're probably gonna try to eat inside later, but we'll show you kind of what it's like, and then later on... We are going to Brook Green Summer Lights. Yeah, Brook Green Gardens does Summer Lights Art by Night, and it's one of our favorite annual events, so we'll take you there later on. So what do you think? Are y'all ready for an adventure? Let's go! Let's go! a blackberry ginger mojo moho it's a mojito but it's called a mojo however you want to say it it's very refreshing and it comes with a little the kids are gonna want this but they can't have it yeah that's nice <laughs> that's the sound of Skyla going down the other slide all right go ahead and go down bud okay. I'm gonna go down this one. Okay. I'll do blue and then I'll do yellow. Okay. Woo! Ow! 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 It hurts. Is it just because you're like being thrown around? Yes. Yes, you get thrown around. Oh gosh. Ah. It's so steep. Skyla is very excited. Monkey bars are her favorite thing, and they have ones that go the whole way across. Oh, those ones are good. Those are challenging. On their menu, they have a lot of different kinds of mojitos and other, you know, signature drinks. And then they have a lot of tacos, they have seafood. So it was a pretty good mix of things. We met a family we were chatting with. It's very laid back. Good view, good place for the kids to play. It's right next to the boat ramp and I just love watching the boats go in and out. This gives you a good overview of all of the places that are here. So you can see Wicked Tuna, Crazy Sister, Tuna Shack, Mojo's. This also gives you a good idea of what's where and which direction. Dead Dog Saloon, like actual dead dogs, and I was like, no, like it's probably just a name. It's really all of these pictures of all of these sweet pups. I do like how their restrooms is setters That's for women right and pointers for the men. Right these pictures are everywhere. This one's Look at these right sweet now. pups. Look at this one. The first thing they brought out, Skyla's favorite. Are they These are the best hot puppies here, that I think we've ever had. Do y'all agree? They're close. They're good. They have wines, margaritas, dead dog transfusion. That's a terrible name for a drink. Oh, and they have 
12 additional seasonal and rotating drafts. That's pretty cool. They have a lot of really good options. These inlet egg rolls sound delicious. They have wings. We're going to get a flounder basket and the chipotle shrimp tacos. But everything sounds really good here. Always want the crab cake sandwich. Might have to get that one next time. They have seafood and other entrees. They have steaks. They do steam pots, wow. And then a really big barbecue menu too. And they also serve breakfast. This is the flounder. Holden got the Kiss cheeseburger, which is ginormous. And these are the Chipotle shrimp tacos. Yep. How are they? That was a big bite. If you're gonna eat at Dead Dog Saloon, we highly recommend sitting on the porch where you don't see all of the portraits of, of the- dead dogs. Of the beautiful passed on pooches. It really got to me while we were eating. I'm not yeah. joking. Yeah, because our uh, pooch passed away a month ago. Yeah. And then you're just staring at all these dogs and staring even, at you. Someone even brought in a picture of their dog like while we while were, we're there, there. To have hung up. Our dog Maps that we had for 12 years passed away recently. So not a good restaurant to come to if you are in the same situation. But the food was good. It was a big variety of a menu where it would make, you know, Make Everybody make, happy. Exactly. If you're in a big group. And the service was great too. Yeah. But sit on the porch. Very yeah. nice view and I would do that. I mean it's nice to have AC, but <laughs> here's where you enter a dead dog from the actual boardwalk side. Right next door to Dead Dog is Creek Rats, which is a place we would highly recommend. Lots of outdoor seating here too. There's a pirate ship. And then there's a really nice boardwalk that extends out. It looks like they're getting ready to have a good time on the pie-eyed parrot. Out there is Goat Island, so named because goats live on it. Crazy enough. Now we're here at Brook Green Gardens. For the summer light art by night. We have our brochure that tells us about all of the special installations. Some sound really cool, so we're very excited. Grandma and Pa are here with us. Hello again. Hello again. <laughs> so we're ready. We're gonna have we're gonna have a really fun night. This is one of our favorite events, so we're pumped. This gives you an overview of the gardens and it tells you where the special installations are and they're listed over here on this side. So there's 10 outdoor exhibits and they all sound very cool. There's also live music. They have the Brook Green Detective books at the front of Brook Green right when you first come in. Highly recommend grabbing that. They have them for different age groups. So it gives the kids something to do as you walk around. Today, we're gonna focus on just the Summer Lights Art by Night event. It's a special ticketed event. It's not included with general admission. The gates open at 6 p.m. We got here a little bit closer to seven and it's open until 10. We do have another video about our experience at Brook Green Gardens during the day on just a normal day where we toured the gardens. We went around the Low Country Zoo and saw some of their programming so we'll put a link to that so that you can see what that experience is like but tonight it's all about the summer lights this one is called flutter by night Skyla's is working on a book over here they have a little kids corner where they tell you things that you can do like adding a butterfly feeder to your garden All of these will be lit up later, so we'll show you what that looks like. But right now, Holden's just looking for frogs. What? You're looking for frogs, right? I almost caught a tadpole. Oh, cool. Let me try to catch them. You gonna catch something? 
Almost got it. Bad temper. <gasps> Ew! Put him back in, put him back in! Say swim, little buddy! This is what Live Oak Alley will look like later. The sun setting with Live Oak Alley. We don't even need the lights. It's so pretty. Look at that. That's magical. It's like something out of a movie. It is like out of a movie. A Muppet! Muppet's Dream, and I like for this one what they tell the kids to do is find five flowers, five leaves, five trees, five sculptures, and five animals, which definitely keeps them busy for at least a minute. We're gonna hang out in the children's garden for a little bit while it gets dark. This is a tradition for us, for the three generations, to sit in these chairs in this specific location at Brook Green and take a picture, so we have to do it every time. You don't come to South Carolina and not sit in Adirondack chairs. And these are, they're pretty cozy actually. I feel a lot, I feel like I'm looking up to you right now. I, I, can I nap. always look up to you. I could nap here. I could nap here too. I could nap anywhere. What about you, Skyla? I could probably nap. <laughs> My turtle. Oh, I gotta it try looks that like one out. Santa Claus and his elf. <laughs> I feel like a king. <laughs> the king yeah, with his exactly. jester. Mm -hmm. In the elf baby. Uh, this one's, that one's a we have the three bears going on over here. This one's really really closely you can see the one pink flower out there grandma's getting pictures snapping them next to me is there another one right if this one's partially open and there's one to the left that's partially open oh this one is yeah opening up partial open we even have the music setting the mood wow it is really beautiful. We've never gotten to see the sun actually setting here. I think we're normally just walking around at this point. So it's very cool to see it. There's a lot of people here checking it out. Mm -hmm. Hey Skyla, mm -hmm. when this beautiful sunset's happening, what were you thinking about? Going to the kitchen area and buying a chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> you remembered it's right in this area, didn't you? Your memory is impeccable when it comes to food, sister. My dad just said he remembers posing for this statue. I can't. Per Skyla's request, we're heading in over by the kitchen garden to see if they have any cookies or scones. My mama and I got some Pinot because it's just a beautiful night. Sometimes you just gotta celebrate. And, and we're just pretending like, like we live here and this is our garden. This is just our porch, yeah. We just hang out here on the regular. Cheers. Cheers. I could live here. I could live here. Yeah, I could, I could do it. <laughs> I mean, it'll do. <laughs> Skyla sometimes has the best ideas, don't you, sweetheart? Yeah. Oh, Holden, I can't see you. <laughs> there you are. It's cookie time. It's 8.30, it's twilight right now, so we're gonna see what we can see, and I think this is what'll come up the best on the camera. So we're gonna show you around, and then we'll see what it looks like when it gets really dark, too. We're gonna check out Reflections of the Night. These are local Conway artists, right around the corner from where we live. Make this beautiful art. What's really cool about this one is how the music impacts how everything looks. What does it make you feel? Alice in Wonderland. Oh, okay. I like that. I like that vibe. I keep waiting for some pixies and fairies. Yes, pixies and fairies. But the music oh, just makes it sound like Peter Pan. Oh, so Alice in Wonderland and Peter Pan, my favorite things. <laughs> what about you, Holden? Uh, also the Nutcracker. Oh, the Nutcracker, Frozen yeah. Frozen 2. Oh, Frozen 2 with the blue? I'm feeling it. It's like a fun raid. I also like that this is so different than what it looks like at Knights of a Thousand Candles. Mm -hmm. It's very yes. different. 
different vibe. I fully expect a pixie to just pop out right now. The reflections on the water, the frogs. White lights, warm nights. 37 flavors. Oh, okay. This is like a party over here. So blue raspberry, turvy grape, and tiger blood. As long as we don't make it soup and it's still, you can see the ice chips, you're in good shape. You still have some ice on the side. You're good. Holden, what did you get in yours? Pina Calata. Pina Calata. Anything else? Uh, yeah. I got all of them. Oh, you just mixed it all up? Well, I didn't get... I got... I didn't get this one, this one, this one, or this one. I didn't get three. You didn't do tiger's blood? Whose child are you? Tiger's blood is the jam. Uh, yours. Oh, okay. Prismatic Passage. I like the name of this one. Over 900 wine bottles. What do you think, Skyla? I really like it. Do you like it as much as your Kona Ice? <laughs> At least you're honest. And these stretch the whole length of the path, so this is just Mom, one of them, but they just, go this whole way. Just three rows of 21 bottles. You just counted that up pretty quick. Some quick math skills. <laughs> Just a quick minute to appreciate how gorgeous Brook Green is. This is Diana, right? This is Diana. This might be my favorite. Yeah, Diana. Goddess of the hunt. Fountain of the Muses also looks gorgeous at night, even without anything special happening back here, per se. Scott's checking out the foliage. What are they? I can't remember, but Mom, yeah, I've never seen them like leave whole like uh. But that's a lot of Kona Ice Carnage. On your shirt. On and your on shirt the and now on the now on the floor too. It happens. But, um, you know, Mom, what does Pegasus make you think of? Yep. Hercules. Zero to hero. I love the most how you can see the reflections. Yeah. The water's so still. Where we watched the sunset earlier, this is mystic summer nights. It's very much, very similar to the Live Oak Alley. Again, the music really adds to this one, for sure. Seeing the warm glow yes. in the distance compared to the cool glow here. Wow. And the mix of the music chirping and the real chirping. This one is Morocco at night. Video's not going to do this one justice, unfortunately, but I think this is my favorite. Each lantern has so much detail to it. There's so many frogs over here. Oh, I thought that was Moroccan this music. Oh, yeah. Scott's offering to take a photo. What a gent. We're trying to figure out what kind of lights these are. Yeah, so they do have a cord going to them. Where the heavens meet the earth, a tangible night sky. Skyla's a statue over there. You can kind of see her. It's so dark right over here, but it's so beautiful. We're back to a Moppet's dream, and it definitely looks like a dream. Next year, Pa's gonna call me Big Dude.
Oh, you're gonna be big dude next year? Yeah. You'll always be little dude. Yeah. All right, let's run through. o'clock and we're closing it down on Live Oak Alley. Don't you dare film this. I didn't know if it's coming out, but y'all are the sweetest sometimes. <laughs> this one is called Cascades. Does it remind you of Cascades? I'm uh, going. What do you think, babe? Pretty cool. Recycled bottles cascading down like a waterfall. Droplets. What was your favorite tonight, do you think? Um, I'm gonna say the one that started with an M. The Moroccan one? Yeah. With all the lanterns? <laughs> yeah. What about you, Holden? What was your favorite tonight? You know. I don't know. So I'm asking. Kids area. What's that? The kids area. The children's play area? Yeah, that one looked really cool tonight, very colorful. What an awesome night at Summer Light Art by Night. That was beautiful. It was good to be there from before it got dark, through twilight, dusk, and into being some of the last people there and just walking around having the garden to yourself. The garden really does change a lot throughout the evening. And it, there's just something magical about being at Brook Green at nighttime. We'll put the dates up. We'll also put the prices up. We are Brook Green members, so we paid a discounted fee, but there, this is a separate ticketed event. Come check it out if you have yeah, time. Yeah, it's worth going to. Music, drinks, food, Kona ice with the kids. It changes every single year, so it gives you a reason to want to come back. It's a very family-friendly event for sure. We also had a great time this evening in Merle's Inlet at the Marsh Walk, so definitely check that out too. Find some new places to eat there and just go for a walk. It's a really good time there too. So thanks for coming along with us. We hope you had a good time. I know that we did. Oh yeah, so definitely. We'll see you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe. And as always, keep adventuring!